Uh, okay, guys, how's it going? So, yeah, once again, thanks uh, for the uh, 200 subscriber mark there, guys. So, um, yeah, a little update on the carburetor for the Cub. I've had a few people um, asking about it and what was going on. Um, so, I uh, uh, was looking online and ran into the kit that I ordered. And, uh, sorry, guys, I'm looking at something here as I'm talking. Um, yeah, so I ordered this kit um, a while back. So it's a, it's a genuine Kohler kit. Um, I'll show you guys this thing, look at all the mess. Okay, so it's a 257571-01S. Um, that's the kit that I ordered, okay. And this is what it comes with. So you got um, these two pieces. This is the, you know, different parts. This goes in the bottom of the bowl. And, you know, this is the needle for it, okay. And this is what came in the kit that I got. That's all that was in it. Okay, so this is not the original O-ring. This one is, this is the ring that goes around here. Okay, totally different sizes, guys. Um, it's quite a bit bigger. It has this baffle in there, okay. I don't necessarily know why that's there. It wasn't in there when I got the carburetor, but it doesn't fit it. I mean, there's no way, unless I cut it up to make that fit. The needle is different, because this is the original needle. That's what's, you know, at least that's what's in this carburetor. Um, that's the needle that's in there. And then you got the float. Okay, so these are all the, have the little parts and pieces for it. So, because these are just the screws that hold the uh, breather on. And then this is the uh, bowl nut and, you know, the float pin and all that junk. Okay, so this is what I got. Okay, I was looking online and there's supposed to be some numbers inside in here designating the size so if I look in here this says 52 okay this is what she looks like guys like I said I got everything off of it all the screws and stuff except for this one this one doesn't need to come off um, I did notice the uh, butterfly um, has a little bit of play in it but not a whole lot I mean just minutely it has up and down which I expect that but it doesn't hardly have any side to side on it um, and then, uh, yeah, the same way with this one. There's not much play in it either. I mean, I can't move it back and forth, even front or back. Um, you know, she's tight in there. So I think the carburetor is fine. Um, needs cleaned again because it's been sitting. But I had fuel in it for a little while and did have it running, but she just ran like crap, guys. So, um, I'm not sure why that kit doesn't fit it. And it was supposed to be the one for that because I did the research. That's the one kit I got. The other one I've misplaced it. I can't find it. And it was a different number, but it was very, very similar to this. Um, the parts and pieces were very similar. Because um, nothing on this kit that I bought fits this carburetor. And I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So a couple of you guys said that um, uh, with the compression on it. Okay, so I did do some more research on that also. Um, people are saying that it's very hard to get a, uh, a good reading on the compression part on this, which I understand that. That's the same way with the um, uh, overhead valves uh, Briggs that I have um, that's on Dylan's mower, the red uh, MTD that's over here. Uh, yeah, she's buried back there. Uh, that one right there. Okay, it's got an overhead valve 14.5 on it because um, it has a uh, uh, compression relief. Uh, bump on the cam that, that prevents it from getting a good compression on it. Um, so one guy was saying spin it backwards. I, I there's nowhere to get a hold of it enough to be able to spin it backwards because um, uh, I can't get a hold of the front of the engine, which is the back, which is up towards the front of the mower, um, without engaging the clutch, which that means I have to be on it and try to turn it over at the same time. It doesn't work. Um, and then the other side is attached to the drive shaft. Got a big shield across that and stuff. So, the way I was understanding it, even with that compression relief in there, that it should be above, um, should be around the 50 mark, you know, to be able to, to have enough compression. But um, some of the guys that I'm, you know, talking to are saying that it should be, you know, way higher than that to, to be able to run good. So, I don't know. I mean, the motor didn't sound horrible. It just didn't sound right when I had it running. Um, if any of you guys know the right kit number for this thing, um, I'm still doing some research trying to find it. I pulled up a, um, went to Kohler, found a, uh, a PDF uh, file um, for this carburetor and stuff like that. And it shows the same style K2 
kit for this and it's not the right one this kit is not the right kit for that um, so this might not be the right carburetor the one that I was looking at online um, if you look on here the little ears where the bolts go through this thing was actually um, it wasn't a hole it was split like this okay so the bolt would go in there and it was split on both sides um, no actual hole it just had a little cut out in it um, so I don't know guys I don't know if it's just the carburetor that I have or it's been replaced or or what I mean it looks identical to it as far as the outside of it the one I'm looking at but at the same point it's got the little ears that are cut off and it's supposed to have this kit for it and it's not the same so I don't know guys I'm just figuring to do a little update and uh, let you know what I've got going on because I really would like to have this thing running for winter I'd like to use it to uh, plow snow I got another bracket um, for my snow plow off of that old um, see old craftsman a green one that I had I got in and uh, yeah, I don't have it anymore, but I took the bracket off of it. But, um, yeah, I'm going to modify that bracket to fit the cub, so that way I can do snow plowing with it um, instead of using the, uh, uh, the snapper that I have. So, like I said, guys, you know any info for this, uh, all this stupid carburetor, because that's what's kind of holding me up for the moment on the carburetor. Um, the one, the kit that I have that's in there, I mean, it's all boogered up because it would just spew fuel out of it I mean this is the way that it came and this thing here is just squished and goofed and um, you know all the parts were there it just never ran right when I did have it running it just sounded like I said crappy but get with me guys if you guys know you know PM down below or not PM but um you know comment down below hit me with a PM or something let me know I'll do a link or anything you got um, information for this thing um, so yeah and I found a guy that redoes rebuilds carburetors for these and overbores them and makes them bigger but they're way out of my budget range um, so I might get with him and see if he uh, um, knows what kit's supposed to go for this one because like I said definitely this one don't go to that so thanks for watching guys hope you uh, like the videos hit the thumbs up for me so until next time guys bye bye